Yesterday, many German journalists strongly criticized the Ukrainian High Military Command for the loss of expensive and valuable Patriot air defense systems. According to German journalists, it is the Ukrainian command that is to blame for the fact that Russia managed to destroy two Patriot air defense systems at once. Let me remind you that yesterday, Russian military sources began distributing a video showing the destruction of air defense systems of the Ukrainian army, near the city of Pokrovsk, in the Donetsk region. Back then, many Russian sources stated that the footage allegedly showed the moment of destruction of the S-300 air defense systems of the Ukrainian army. However, after a few hours, this statement was refuted. As it turned out, this video shows the moment of destruction not of the S-300 systems, but of the American MIM-104 Patriot air defense systems. This conclusion was reached by almost all Western and Russian military experts after a thorough analysis of this video. According to them, it was possible to identify the cabs of Mancat trucks among the debris, which indicates that these were Patriot systems that were delivered to Ukraine from Germany. Moreover, the authoritative military expert Boris Rosin also conducted a thorough analysis of this video and concluded that the moment of destruction of precisely Patriot air defense systems was captured on published frames. According to him, the destruction of two Patriot systems at once, which were in the enemy's rear, was a huge success for the Russian army. The military expert also emphasized the coordinated and professional actions of military intelligence and combat crew of the tactical missile complex Iskander, with the help of which U.S. Patriot air defense systems were destroyed. We must pay tribute to Russian military intelligence and the combat crew of the tactical missile complex Iskander, which destroyed American air defense systems from a distance of 220 kilometers. That's really impressive, military expert Boris Rosin said. Meanwhile, German journalist Julian Rock said that it was a big mistake on the part of the Ukrainian generals to place Patriot systems just 40 kilometers from the line of combat contact. The German journalist also accused the Ukrainian military leadership of keeping these air defense systems in one place for too long, as a result of which the Russians managed to detect and destroy them. There are no words to describe the horror of this. They kept these air defense systems just a few kilometers from the front line, and at a distance of only 10-12 meters from each other. I'm speechless myself, German journalist Julian Rock said. At the same time, let me remind you that over the past few days, Russian troops have managed to destroy three Patriot air defense systems. In addition to these two air defense systems, a few days ago, a Russian Iskander M ballistic missile destroyed another American Patriot air defense system near the line of combat contact. Moreover, over the past week, the Russian army has also managed to destroy one American Norwegian air defense system NASAMS, one S-300 system, and one medium-range anti-aircraft missile system Buk M1. As a result, over the past five days, the effectiveness of Russian combat aviation in the Special Military Operation Zone has doubled. Meanwhile, Ukrainian telegram channels began to accuse the Ukrainian general staff of betrayal. 
According to them, the loss of such a large number of American Patriot air defense systems is a consequence of betrayal by one of the high-ranking officers of the Ukrainian armed forces. According to them, there are officers in the Ukrainian general staff, who regularly transmit valuable information to the Russians, as a result of which Russian ballistic missiles destroy valuable air defense systems and the Ukrainian army's headquarters with enviable regularity. By the way, the famous American military expert David Axe, also did not rule out the act of betrayal. According to him, Ukraine has lost 13% of American air defense systems over the past few days. And this fact forced the CIA and the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine to launch an investigation, as many high-ranking officers of the armed forces of Ukraine fell under suspicion. Moreover, David Axe, known for his connections in the Pentagon, claims that the U.S. military leadership very harshly criticized General Sersky and demanded that the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine explain why the Ukrainians did not provide Patriot systems with reliable air defense during their use near the line of combat contact. David Axe also noted the combat crew of these American air defense systems. According to him, most likely they all died. By the way, many Russian telegram channels stated that among the dead were also high-ranking U.S. Army officers who directly operated these air defense systems. Well, my friends, as you can see, I was right. A few days ago, I said that due to the rapid advance of the Russian army, the armed forces of Ukraine and their Western allies will be forced to throw expensive Western weapon systems such as Abrams tanks, HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems, and Patriot air defense systems close to the line of combat contact, as a result of which the list of destroyed Western military equipment will only be rapidly replenished. And as you can see, my words were prophetic.